One of the best ways to find out how your site is doing in Google search results is by adding it to the Google Search Console. And Google Search Console is a free tool that's offered by Google to let you know exactly how your site is performing. It'll tell you which of your pages are ranking for certain keywords. It also tells you the click-through rate or how many people are clicking on your site when they see it in the results. So I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to get your site set up with Google Search Console. So let's dive in. To add your website to Google Search Console, you want to search for Google Search Console. And it's something like search.google.com and then search-console. Click on that and you can get started. From here, you want to add a property and then you can click add property. For this one, we're going to verify it by the URL prefix. We need to tap in our web address and click continue. There are a few different ways that you can verify ownership. And the one that we want to do is HTML tag because we'll add this tag to all-in-one SEO. The easiest way to verify with Google is to install a plugin called all-in-one SEO. With all-in-one SEO, you can do a lot of things for your site. It's like a SEO assistant for your website. The pro version has some amazing features, but to get started with this, we'll just use the free version for now. So you want to head over to your WordPress dashboard go to plugins, add new. From here, we're looking for all-in-one SEO, or you can just shorten it and say AIO SEO. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. We'll also stick around to activate the plugin as well. Once it's activated, then you'll want to head over to all-in-one SEO. Let's go to general settings. And from up at the top, let's go to webmaster tools so we can add that code for us. So we'll click Google search console and then we'll paste that bit of code that we copied before. Once you paste the code, then you can click Save Changes. And now we can go back to our Google Search Console settings and click the Verify button. Now Google Search Console will look for the tag on our website code and then it'll show us a success message. The next thing we want to do is we want to add an XML sitemap to Google Search Console. And an XML sitemap is just a file that basically tells Google all of the posts that your site has. It's an XML format and it allows search engines like Google just to easily discover everything that you have on your website so it can index it and rank it in their search engines. So the cool thing about all of this is since we installed all in one SEO, we just added the XML sitemap to everything. And we can see what it looks like by heading over to sitemaps under all in one SEO. And from here, you should see enabled sitemap. We can click on it to open the sitemap and these are all of the posts and everything else for our site. Now to add this to our site, we can just copy this bit of code and then we need to head back over to Google Search Console and we'll want to go to sitemaps. And from here, this is where we want to enter the URL that we just copied. After we add that, then we can click the submit button. Now it's going to add it to the Search Console so they'll know all of the posts that are on our site. The other cool thing is Alumni SEO also comes with several other sitemaps like video sitemap, so it'll tell Google all the videos that are embedded on your site. If you're a news website, then it can do a news sitemap that it will submit that so that maybe your site can come up in the news section of Google and then an RSS sitemap, which simply just shows the most recent updated items and it gives you a little bit more of a SEO advantage. Now it will take a few days to start to process the sitemaps and start to see any kind of traffic or any kind of data because there's usually a two day delay process in seeing results. But just know that everything is already submitted and you're good to go with that. And then once you do have this, we do recommend that you check your Google Search Console at least on a monthly basis. This will give you ideas of insights on just how your site is doing. You can come over and look at performance and this will tell you what your website is ranking for, what kind of clicks you're getting, the average position in Google Search results, and a lot more data so you can start to make data-driven decisions about your website to improve the search rankings of it. Now they have everything set up on Google Search Console, you want to take your website to the next level with SEO. Watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to install and configure all-in-one SEO for your website. And I'll see you over there.